Hi everyone and welcome to this quick video on what's new in Revit Structure 2013. In this quick video we're going to have a look at some reinforcement improvements. Over the last uh, couple of uh, releases um, Autodesk have been constantly improving the way the reinforcement works within Revit Structure and in this release we're looking at um, a brand new feature which is uh, wire fabrics or mesh so that's the ability to model mesh in 3D but we also have some updates to the path reinforcement and also area reinforcement and also the way that we can place uh, longitudinal bars around links. So let's start with the uh, fabric. So we can select fabric like this and then select our uh, floor or wall that this is going to go into. Next thing it wants us to do is actually pick the boundary line. So I'm going to go and literally just use pick lines here and we'll go around the slab like this. Okay, and you can see that instantly Revit Structure is actually previewing that. Now, I actually want to pick the uh, opening in here as well, so it will take that into account as well. Okay, like so. Now, the major direction I can change just by picking on the span direction, so you can actually see that, that previewing and changing there. Over in the properties bar here, we can choose uh, the sheet type that we want to have here. So I'm going to go with uh, 393 mesh there. Location, obviously top or bottom of the slab. Uh, we've got a number of ways to actually lay out the sheet as well. So I could say aligned, like that. Or we could do halfway stagger. Or passing stagger. Okay, so I'm going to go with halfway uh, stagger there. Um, you can see we've got the major uh, lap length and the minor lap length. So we've got uh, 600 there, 400 there. Again, I could change that if I wanted to. Um, cover we could change. So what we'll do there is we'll just go ahead and accept that. So green tick on the ribbon. Okay, you can just see now that's applying that through. Okay, and there's the reinforcement modelled. So you see straight away that it actually puts um, conventional tags on the uh, mod model there. Again, you can actually change the way this looks. These are literally just symbols, so you can come along and uh, decide to change all of these if you want to. Obviously, you can do that on mass as well. Um, but I'll just go with the uh, the default there. As you can, the tag as well. Obviously, it's uh, given me the um, the sheet specification there at the moment, but you could put in all sorts of other things like the mark and so on as well. Okay, so let's have a look in 3D and have a look at what we've got there. Now. Just in this example here, I'm going to uh, basically go and hide the, the, the slab itself. Okay, let's do that again. So we'll pick the slab and then we'll hide that in view. Okay, and you can now see the reinforcement bar being shown there in 3D. Now, also it will show up in cross section as well. So if we go back to the level one plan, and we'll take a look at cross section there, you can see the uh, the wire fabric or mesh being shown in cross section. Now, of course, you can uh, go ahead and schedule that as well. So, I had a little schedule already set up here. So, again, you can see that it goes through and actually is able to schedule out the total mass of, of the fabric. Obviously, in here, we could start to put marks on as well. Yeah, so, if I was to go and, and mark all these sheets up, what's going to basically then happen is when we go back into our plan view it will basically go and put those marks on to the tag as well. So that's quite useful, maybe more for contractors than anything else. Okay, let's have a look at uh, some other types of uh, improvements to the reinforcement. So I'm going to go into this uh, little section here, and we'll, we'll place some bar, a little longitudinal bar in. So I'm going to basically say that this bar needs to go parallel to color, and we'll change our bar type here. Now, in previous releases, we would have if we wanted a bar on the corner here, we'd just have to kind of guess the position of it. But you can now see that um, Revit Structure is able to actually snap to these uh, three key points there. So I can do the top quadrant, uh, the midpoint along the arc there, or the bottom quadrant there. So I'll just go into the quadrant there. And again, um, if you've got a, a link or a hook set up like this one here, yeah, we can actually snap to that hook point as well. Yeah, again, there, there, or there. So that's a little bit of an improvement as well. Okay, let's go back and have a look at some area reinforcement next then. So, what we'll do here is we'll just draw a little bit of a slab. Let's do that down over here. 
Okay, the slab might have some sort of configuration like this. Okay, we'll finish that. So now we can go into um, area or well, path reinforcement here. Pick the slab. Okay, what's gonna now going to happen is you can see that we can actually set out the layout rules. Yeah. Basically, how we want the bar to be laid out, um, type of bar that I'm using, uh, which direction the hook's facing, and so on. So we'll sketch our path, like so. And you can see that Revit Structure then goes ahead and puts all those bars in. Again, those bars are actually in 3D. You can see that with a bit of fiddling around, we probably could get the uh, range indicator to look pretty good as well. Okay, again, let's look at that in 3D. Okay, we'll just uh, make a selection of the bar there. And just take out the structural bar. Okay, so of course we can go into our view visibility states here. And we should better actually tell Revit to view those as a solid. And again, you can see those bars and they've been placed in. Yeah. And uh, we have the same improvement for the area reinforcement as well. So I could pick back onto the slab again. And I could now say I want to do some area reinforcement. Yeah. And again, you could use this to spread the bars. Yeah. So we've got major, minor direction. Again, I'll accept all the defaults here. And again, you can see that if we go into 3D there, again, I'd have to actually select that rebar to actually get it to display. So let's do that. Select the structural bar, yeah, which will be that one there. And again, we could get that to show. I'm not going to worry about that too much. You can see that the bars have actually gone in there. And of course, again, those, those will show up in the cross sections. So... Once again in uh, 2013, you can see that we have uh, some extra improvements and uh, additions to the reinforcement, um, although there's still a little bit more work to go until we get a, a full th uh, 3D detailed uh, tool there. Okay, thanks very much.